Hello everybody and thank you for coming by the channel. So last week we took a look at a set booster box for March of the Machine and did a value assessment for that box. This week is kind of the part two of that being that we will be taking a look at March of the Machine, The Aftermath. This is a follow-up video to the previously mentioned video because in that video we took a running total of the value of all the cards to see if the box was worth it. And this week we will be doing the same with Aftermath. But with this we are actually going to be doing it in two different ways. One is we are trying to get to this $89.99 that I paid for it. That is one. And two, we are also going to see if the value that's in this box matches, surpasses, or falls short of the value that we got from our set boosters box. With that being said, I think we should go ahead and just jump on into it. We'll be doing this one the same as the previous one. It's setting it up and it's a nice little display. Here is our little box card. And then there's the shot right there. So these are the epilogue boosters. Um, they are only five cards a piece. With that being said, I'm going to grab a pair of scissors. So since there are only five cards in each of these packs, and knowing how hard the set booster packs were to open, I went ahead and grabbed a pair of scissors to help me out with opening these packs today. So let's go ahead and get started. we don't cut any of these guys I feel st still feel one stuck at the bottom several still stuck at the bottom so going to go ahead and just remove the token. This one is a Phyrexian token. And our first card is Animus Smite. Our first rare is the Kenris Royal Funeral. Our first foil is Cosmic Rebirth. Then followed by Campus Renovation. Ending on another Cosmic Rebirth. Moving on to pack two. In which our token is just a secret layer ad. First card is Blot Out. And then Reckless Handling. And our first rare is Arnie Metal Brow. Our rare is, or our first foil is Campus Renovation. And Cosmic Rebirth.
We have Golden Forged Thopteryx, Undercity Upheaval, Deification, Markov Baron as our foil, and Polgon Warmonger with an incubator for our token. Feast of the Victorious Dead, Death Rattle Oni, Denitha, New Banalia's Light, Copper Coat Vanguard as our foil, and Reckless, Reckless Handling to finish off the pack. Harnessed Snubborn, Filter Out, Plarg and Asari, a Foil Deification, Talarian Contempt, and finishing the pack out with an Incubator Token. Got to make sure they're all the way down. I'm going to cut them off with scissors. We have Campus Renovations. Markov Baron. Niv-Mizzet Supreme. Azar Rare. Lots of, lots of Niv-Mizzets. Kolga Warmonger for our foil and Nashi Moon's Legacy to finish out the pack. Reckless Handling, Blot Out, First Rare is Metropolis Reformer, our foil is Under City Upheaval, and to finish off the pack we have a Harnessed Snubborn in the uh, Power Rangers framework. Gold Forged Thopteryx, Undercity Upheaval, Tranquil Frillback as our first rare. Our foil is Blot Out, and finishing the pack out, we have a Gold Forged Thopteryx, once again in the uh, Power Ranger style art. I do know that's not the official name, but I've heard it a couple times, and it brings a little joy to my heart just to hear it. So that's what I'm going to call them. Let me know if, uh, I mean, what the actual name is, because that's I've called them that quite a bit now. Uh, Campus Renovation, Copper Coat Vanguard, and our first Mythic is... 
Colix, Guided by Fate. Our foil is Filter Out. And to finish out the pack, we have Death Rattle Oni. These packs are going, going quick. Let me know what you guys are thinking, too, about the five-card pack. There's not much really in them for what you're paying. Copper Coat Vanguard. Talarian Contempt. Samant, Visor of Noctum. Our first mythic of this pack. Burborg Scavengers is our foil. Which is also a rare. We have the uh, coin Power Rangers filter out to finish off the pack. Colgan Warmonger, Cosmic Rebirth, Vesuvian Drifter as our first rare, Feast of the Victorious Dead as our foil, and Markov Baron to finish out the pack. Starting off with Talarian Contempt, then Colgan Warmonger, and then we have Pia Nalar, Consul of Revival, followed by a foil, Jarena, Dauntless General, and to finish the pack off, we have Undercity Upheaval. Next pack. We have Animus Smite, Death Rattle Oni. Our first rare is Jarena Dauntless General. Our foil is Harnessed Snubhorn. And to finish off the pack, we have a foil, Alternative Border Feed, Feast of the Victorious Dead. Feast of the Victorious Dead, Harnessed Snubhorn, our first rare of this pack is Joel Ray, Voice of Zul Zulfur, our second rare, foil rare, is Sigarda, Font of Blessing. And to finish off the pack, we have Copper Coat Vanguard. We have Filter Out, Reckless Handling, 
First rare is Open the Way. Our foil is Animus Smite. And to finish off the pack, we have Feast of the Victorious Dead. Gold Forge Thopteryx, Blot Out. First rare is Tazri, Stalwart Survivor. Our foil is Death Rattle Oni. And then to finish off the pack, we have Animus Might in a Retro Border. Under City Upheaval, Markov Baron. Our rare is Ayara's Oathsworn. Our foil is Telerian Contempt. And to finish off the pack, we have Blot Out. Markov Baron, Cosmic Rebirth, our rare is Training Grounds, our foil is Campus Renovation, and we have a second foil which is Death Rattle Oni to finish off the pack. Not gonna lie, seems like there are a lot of reprints in this set, and I'm gonna take a wild guess and say most of them aren't very high value. We have Animus Might, Feast of the Victorious Dead, Karn Legacy Reforged, our first mythic rare of this pack, Kolga Han Warmonger as our foil. And then we have Rebuild the City as our second rare in finishing out this pack. We are down to our last five packs. Campus Renovation, Copper Coat Vanguard, we have Tyvar the Bellicose as our mythic for this pack, and then we have a foil gold forged Thopteryx, and to finish off the pack we have a full art Spark Rupturer to finish off the pack. Talarian Contempt. Coligan Warmonger. Our first rare is Nashi Moon Legacy. 
Our foil is Reckless Handling. And to finish off this pack, we have Harnessed Snub Horn in the foil Power Rangers style. And a Teferi, and it's a fairy token. Starting off, we have a Harnessed Snubhorn, Death Brattle Oni. Our first rare is Roko Street Chef. Our foil is Markov Baron. And then finishing this pack off, we have Cosmic Rebirth. This one here is our second to last pack. Let's see if we get anything good out of these. Starting off, we got Filter Out, Blot Out, and then our first rare is Dranith Runes. Our foil is Feast of the Victorious Dead. And to finish out the pack, we have Markov Baron. And here we go. This is our last pack. Start off our last pack, we have... Reckless Handling, Gold Forged Thopteryx, we have Spark Rupture as our first rear. For our foil, we have Harnessed Snubhorn, and to finish off the pack, we have a Kolgahan Warmonger. And that does it for our box. Um, not sure what the value is or how it stacks up against the set booster box, but I have a gut feeling that the epilogue booster box did not stack up against the uh, set boosters. That's just from me looking at the cards I pulled. I don't think the value is there to have beat it. To be honest, I'm not even sure if the value is there to match what I actually paid for the box, which seems about par with some of the things I've heard about this box. Um, let me know what you guys think, though. Uh, have you picked up any of these Epilogue Booster Packs? I mean, what's your opinion on the whole aftermath as a subset of uh, March of the Machines and that sort of thing? Also, let me know how I'm doing on these videos. Uh, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Ways to improve. You know, always open to suggestions. But, as always...